Hello everyone, how are you? I am back with my another video. Today we are going to deal with trigonometric identities. In this chapter, we shall be deriving some of the formulae of trigonometric ratios and use them in proving the trigonometric identities. I have divided this exercise into two parts. I hope you like my video. So please stay with me till the end of this video. Today's our topic is trigonometric identities. And under trigonometric identities, we shall be studying the different trigonometric relations. Since different trigonometric ratios have got some relations with each other, that is, they are connected with each other by some means, and we shall be studying those relations one by one. Let's see. The first relation is reciprocal relation. As we know that sin theta is p by h, that is the ratio of sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Cos theta is b by h, tan theta is p by b. Cosec theta h by p, sec theta h by b, and cot theta is b by p. If we watch here closely, we can see that sin theta and cosec theta, they are reciprocal of each other. Similarly, cos theta and sec theta are also reciprocal of each other. In the same way, tan theta and cot theta are also the reciprocal of each other. What happens? If we multiply this reciprocal, what will happen? If sin theta and cosec theta are multiplied, what will happen if cos theta and sec theta are multiplied? Similarly, if tan theta and cos theta are multiplied, what shall we get? Let's see. Sin theta into cosec theta. The ratio of sin theta is p by h into the ratio of cosec theta is h by p. Here we can see that this p and this p gets cancelled. Similarly, this h and h get cancelled. We shall get 1. So here we can conclude that the product of sin theta and cosec theta is equal to 1. Cos theta into sec theta. Cos theta b by h, sec theta h by p. Here also this b and this b get cancelled. Similarly, this h and this h get cancelled. We shall get 1. That is cos theta into sec theta we will get 1. Let's see tan theta into cos theta. Tan theta is p by b. Cos theta is b by p. So this b and this b get cancelled. This p and this p get cancelled. That is we will get 1. That is the product of sin theta and cosec theta is 1. The product of cos theta and sec theta is 1. Similarly, the product of tan theta and cot theta becomes 1. Now, let's write fairly. We got sin theta into cosec theta equal to 1. Similarly, we got cos theta into sec theta equal to 1. In the same way, we got tan theta into cot theta equal to 1. So these three are the relation which we got from the reciprocal relation. Now from the three relation, we shall obtain some more relation. Let's see. If sin theta will send cosec theta to right hand side, then it becomes sin theta equal to 1 by cosec theta. In the same way, if cosec theta will send sin theta to right hand side, then it becomes cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta. Similarly, if cos theta will send sec theta to next side, it becomes cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta. If sec theta will send cos theta to next side, it becomes sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta. In the same way, when tan theta sends cos theta to next side, it becomes tan theta equal to 1 by cos theta. And if cos theta sends tan theta to next side, it becomes cos theta equal to 1 by tan theta. 
So these are the list of formulae which we got from reciprocal relation. So from onward, when you see sin theta into cosec theta, then you can directly write down that product at 1. Similarly, when we see cos theta into sec theta, we can write that product is equal to 1. In the same way, if we see the product of tan theta and cot theta, we can write down that product at 1. In the same way, sin theta equal to 1 by cosec theta. Since sin theta and cosec theta, they are reciprocal of each other, so we can write down sin theta equal to 1 by cosec theta. In the same way, cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta. Similarly, cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta and sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta. Since cos theta and sec theta, they are reciprocal of each other. In the same way, tan theta equal to 1 by cot theta and cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta. Since tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other. Note, just now we studied sin theta into cosec theta equal to 1. Can you tell me if they become sin theta into cosec alpha? Can we write 1? Is it true? No is not equal to 1. Why is it so? It's because the reference angles are different. So to go under the perfect relation, they should be the same reference angle. Hence, sin theta into cosec alpha is never equal to 1. But you can write down sin alpha into cosec alpha equal to 1. Yes, it's possible since they have got the same reference angle. In the same way, cos theta into sec alpha is not equal to 1. But you can write down cos alpha into sec alpha equal to 1. Since they have got the same reference angle. In the same way, tan theta into cot gamma is not equal to 1. Since they have got different reference angle. But you can write down tan gamma into cot gamma is equal to 1. That is to undergo the relation the reference angle should be the same. The next relation is quotient relation. Let's take sin theta and cos theta. Let's divide sin theta by cos theta. As we know that the ratio of sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse and the ratio of cos theta is based by hypotenuse. As we can see that in this upper part as well as in this lower part, both part the denominator is hypotenuse. So we can cancel this hypotenuse. So how they got cancelled? Let's in raw 5 by 3 divided by 7 by 3. In this case, 5 by 3, this 7 by 3, when it goes up, it is reciprocal. That we can write it as 3 by 7. So this 3 and this 3 get cancelled and we can write 5 by 7. So instead of doing this, we can cancel this 3 and this 3 and we can write directly 5 by 7. Similarly, here we cancel this hypotenuse and we got P by B. And as we know that the ratio of perpendicular by base is tan theta. So from onward we can write tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. This is called the quotient relation. So tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta. And cos theta can be written as since cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta, so cot theta can be written as, let's reciprocal this, it becomes cot theta by sin theta. So tan theta equal to sin theta by cot theta and cot theta equal to cot theta by sin theta. So these are called the quotient relation. The next relation is Pythagorean relation. As we had learned in our previous video, h square equal to p square plus b square that is hypotenuse square 
equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Now by using this relation, we are going to derive some of the relation which fall under this Pythagorean relation. So the relation that fall under Pythagorean relation are sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. The second relation is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And the third relation is cosec square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1. Now we shall prove these three relations one by one. Let's see. Let's prove the first relation that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. As we know that sin theta is equal to p by h. So if I square here, then this perpendicular and a hypotenuse both are squared. So I can write down sin square theta equal to perpendicular square by hypotenuse square. So sin square theta p square by h square plus the ratio of cos theta is b by h. So I can write down cos square theta equal to b square by h square equal to hypotenuse square, hypotenuse square. They come common here. So I can write down p square plus b square directly. And as we know, p square plus b square is equal to h square from Pythagorean relation. So h square by h square is equal to, we can case in here, it results 1. So sin square theta plus cos square theta will be equal to 1. The second relation is sec square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. As we know that the ratio of sec theta is s by b. So sec square theta can be written as h square by b square minus. The ratio of tan theta is p by b. So tan square theta can be written as p square by b square equal to b square b square can come on. So I can write down h square minus p square. And the formula for h square minus p square according to Pythagorean relation h square minus p square becomes b square by this b square b square and b square cancel it results 1 so sec square theta minus tan square theta will be equal to 1 the third relation cosec square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1 as we know that the ratio of cosec theta is s by p so cosec square theta can be written as h square by p square minus the ratio of cot theta is b by p so I can write down cot square theta equal to b square by p square. So p square and p square common. We can write h square minus b square in the numerator. So h square minus b square according to Pythagorean relation it becomes p square. p square equal to h square minus b square. So p square by p square they both get cancelled with results 1. So cosec square theta minus cot square theta will be equal to 1. So these are the three relations which we derived from Pythagorean relation. Now from these relations, we are going to derive some more of the relations. That is, we are going to derive some more of the formulae. Let's see. Sin square theta will send cos square theta to next side. That is to right hand side. So when plus cos square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes minus cos square theta. So sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta. Now sin square theta will send square to right hand side and when square goes to right hand side, it becomes square root. So I can write sin theta equals to root under 1 minus cos square theta. Similarly, when cos square theta will send plus sin square theta to right hand side, it becomes minus sin square theta. So I can write as cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. When square goes to next side, it becomes root under 
वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा नाउ लेट्स सी हियर sec square theta will send minus tan square theta to right hand side and it becomes sec square theta equal to 1 plus tan square theta now when square goes to right hand side that is to next side it becomes square root so i can write as sec theta equals to root under 1 plus tan square theta similarly I have to find tan square theta, but here tan square theta has got negative sign, so tan square theta will not send sec square theta to right hand side, but tan square theta will go itself to right hand side, and tan square theta will send this one to left hand side. So if tan square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes plus tan square theta, and when one comes to left hand side, it becomes minus one. So it can be written as sec square theta. Minus one equals to minus tan square theta goes to right hand side and it becomes tan square theta. So let me write in reverse order. I can write as tan square theta equals to sec square theta minus one. And when square goes to next side, it becomes square root. So tan theta equals to root under sec square theta minus one. Now let's see this third relation. Cos square theta will send minus cos square theta to right hand side. It becomes cos square theta equals to one plus cos square theta. When the square goes to right hand side, that is to the next side, it becomes square root. Cos theta equals to root under one plus cos square theta. Now similarly, when minus cos square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes plus cos square theta, and when one comes to left hand side, it becomes minus one. Since I have to find the value of cos square theta, so minus cos square theta goes to right hand side. Cos square theta minus one equals to minus cos square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes cos square theta. So I'll write the reverse order. Cos square theta equals to cos square theta minus one. So when square goes to right hand side, it becomes square root. So cos theta equals to root under cos square theta minus one. So these are the list of formulae. That is the list of relations which we obtain from the three main relations. Let's start the exercise. Exercise seven, question number one. Prove that we are given one minus cos square theta by sine square theta equals to one. That is, we have to prove that one minus cos square theta by sine square theta would be equal to one. Let's start from left hand side. We have one minus cos square theta by sine square theta. So what is one minus cos square theta? Let's say we have studied sine square theta plus cos square theta would be equal to one. So sine square theta shall send cos square theta to right hand side, and it becomes one minus cos square theta. So one minus cos square theta can be written as sine square theta. So one minus cos square theta equals to sine square theta by Sine square theta, sine square theta by sine square theta, they get cancelled. We have one, which is our right hand side. Equals to right hand side, proved. Sine into cot a equals to cos a. Let's take left hand side. Sine a into cot a. Generally, sine and cos. Are not changed. They are changed, but rarely. So sine a as it is, cot a. Let's say in question relation we had studied, tan a equals to sine a by cos a, and cot a equals to cos a by sine a. So here, 
in place of cot a we shall use cos a by sin a so here we shall put cos a by sin a denominator sin a and numerator sin a they get cancelled so we have remaining cos a which is right hand side Here we have to prove sin square a into 1 plus cot square a equals to 1. So left hand side sin square a into 1 plus cot square a. Sin square a generally we do not change 1 plus cot square a. So what is 1 plus cot square a? Let's see. Cos x square a minus cot square a equals to 1. So if minus cot square a goes to right hand side, it becomes cos x square a equals to 1 plus cot square a. We have studied this. So 1 plus cot square a can be written as cos x square a. So into 1 plus cot square a is cos x square a. Sin square a as it is. Into. We have cos a equals to in reciprocal relation we have cos a equals to 1 by sin a so cos a square a equals to 1 by sin square a so cos a square a can be written as 1 by sin square a we can cancel the sin square a and the sin square a we have 1 which is our right hand side Here we have 1 by cos square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. So left hand side 1 by cos square theta minus tan square theta. So what is 1 by cos square theta? Let's see from the reciprocal relation we have cos theta equals to 1 by sec theta and sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta. Here we have 1 by cos square theta. So what is 1 by cos square theta? 1 by cos theta equals to sec theta. Then 1 by cos square theta equals to sec square theta. So 1 by cos square theta can be written as sec square theta. So 1 by cos square theta becomes sec square theta minus tan square theta. I am not going to change it. Sec square theta minus tan square theta. From Pythagorean relation, we have sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1, which is our right hand side. Tan theta equals to sin theta by root under 1 minus sin square theta. Let's do from left hand side. We have tan theta. From the reciprocal relation, we have tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta. In right hand side, in the numerator, there is sin theta. So let us not change the sin theta. Let's keep this as it is. But we have to change cos theta. Since in the denominator, there is no cos theta. There is root under 1 minus sin square theta. So I have to change this cos theta. Let's say in rock, we have studied from Pythagorean relation, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. When cos square theta sends sin square theta to right hand side, it becomes cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. When square goes to right hand side, it becomes cos theta equals to root under 1 minus sin square theta. So cos theta can be written as root under 1 minus sin square theta. So sin theta as it is by cos theta can be written as root under 1 minus sin square theta. So root under 1 minus sin square theta, which is our right hand side. This can be done from right hand side also. Let's do it from right hand side. Sin theta by root under 1 minus sin square theta.
साइन थीटा एज इट इज रूट अंडर वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा कैन बी रिटर्न एज कॉ थीटा सो इट बिकम्स कॉ थीटा साइन थीटा बाय कॉ थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन थीटा व्हिच इज आवर राइट हैंड साइड सॉरी इज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड प्रूफ्ड कॉट स्क्वायर थीटा इनटू वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा इक्वल्स टू कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा लेफ्ट हैंड साइड we have cot square theta into 1 minus cos square theta what is cot square theta from quotient relation we have cot theta equals to cos theta by sin theta so if cot theta equals to cos theta by sin theta then cot square theta can be written as cos square theta by sin square theta so cos square theta by sin square theta equals to cot square theta so in place of cot square theta i can put cos square theta by sin square theta so cot square theta becomes cos square theta by sin square theta 1 minus cos square theta we know sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 then sin square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta so in place of 1 minus cos square theta I can put sine square theta. So one minus cos square theta equals to sine square theta. Denominator sine square theta and numerator sine square theta they get cancelled. We have the remaining term cos square theta. It is our right hand side. One minus sine square theta into sec square theta equals to one. So taking left hand side, one minus sine square theta into sec square theta, one minus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta. What is sec square theta? We have sec theta equals to one by cos theta, and cos theta equals to one by sec theta. So if sec theta equal to one by cos theta, then sec square theta can be written as one by cos square theta. So sec square theta equals to one by cos square theta. We can cancel the denominator cos square theta and numerator cos square theta. The remaining term is one, which is our right hand side. Sin square theta plus One by one per ten square theta equals to one. So left hand side, sine square theta plus one by one plus ten square theta. Sine square theta as it is plus one by. So what is one per ten square theta? Let's see from Pythagorean relation we have studied sec square theta. Minus ten square theta equals to one. So when minus ten square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes sec square theta equals to one plus ten square theta. So one plus ten square theta can be written as sec square theta. Sin square theta plus So what is one by sec square theta? From the reciprocal relation, we had studied cos theta equals to one by sec theta. Then cos square theta equals to one by sec square theta. That is one by sec square theta can be written as cos square theta. So one by sec square theta becomes cos square theta. Sorry, here I missed square. So sin square theta plus cos square theta. Equals to one. Let's see this question. It is quite simple. Sine square theta plus cos square theta by sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to one. So taking left hand side, sine square theta plus cos square theta by sec square theta minus tan square theta. Sin square plus cos square theta. 
from Pythagorean relation we have 1 and sec square theta minus tan square theta again from Pythagorean relation we have 1. So 1 by 1 equals to 1 which is our right hand side. This is also a very simple question. 1 minus sin square theta by cos square theta equals to 1. So taking left hand side, we have 1 minus sin square theta by cos square theta. So what is 1 minus sin square theta? We have studied sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Then cos square theta equals to when sin square theta go to right hand side, it becomes 1 minus sin square theta. So 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta. So 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta by cos square theta. So cos square theta, cos square theta, they get cancelled. We have 1, which is our right hand side. Cos A into tan A equal to sin A. Taking left hand side, we have cos A into tan A. We shall not change cos A. So cos A as it is. And from reciprocal relation, tan A can be written as sin A by cos A. Denominator cos A, numerator cos A, they get cancelled. The remaining term is sin A which is our right hand side. Cos square theta into 1 per tan square theta equals to 1. So left hand side, we have cos square theta into 1 plus tan square theta. Cos square theta as it is, what is 1 per tan square theta? Let's see, we have studied from Pythagorean relation, sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. So when minus tan square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes sec square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta. So 1 per tan square theta can be written as sec square theta. So 1 per tan square theta equals to sec square theta. Cos square theta into what is sec square theta? We have studied from reciprocal relation sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta. So sec square theta equals to 1 by cos square theta. So in place of sec square theta, I can put 1 by cos square theta. The denominator cos square theta and the numerator cos square theta, they get cancelled. The remaining term is 1, which is our right hand side. tan square a into cos square a equals to 1 minus cos square a. So taking left hand side, we have tan square a into cos square a. What is tan square a? We know tan a equals to sin a by cos a. This is from quotient relation. So tan square a equals to sin square a by cos square a. So tan square a equals to sin square a by cos square a into cos square a. Denominator cos square a, numerator cos square a, they get cancelled. The remaining term is sin square a. So what is sin square a? We know sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1, then sin square a equals 2 plus cos square a goes to right hand side it becomes 1 minus cos square a so sin square a equals to 1 minus cos square a so i can write here 1 minus cos square a which is our right hand side one plus cos theta by sin square theta equals to 1 by 1 minus cos theta Taking left hand side, we have 1 plus cos theta by sin square theta. In the right hand side, in the numerator there is 1. 
So 1 plus cos theta should be removed in order to bring 1. So let's apply some technique to remove 1 plus cos theta. So 1 plus cos theta as it is by sin square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta from Pythagorean relation. So 1 plus cos theta as it is by this 1 can be written as 1 square. Since 1 square is equal to 1, so it makes no difference whether I write 1 or 1 square minus cos square theta. Numerator 1 plus cos theta as it is by we can see that it is in the form a square minus b square. Here a is 1 and b is cos theta. So a square minus b square is formula is a plus b into a minus b. So 1 square minus cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos theta a plus b. 1 minus cos theta a minus b. This numerator 1 plus cos theta I shall keep in bracket because I have to cancel this 1 plus cos theta and this 1 plus cos theta. That is the 1 plus cos theta of numerator and 1 plus cos theta of denominator they get cancelled. In the numerator nothing that is 1 by in the denominator we have 1 minus cos theta. That is we got our right hand side. Tan square theta into 1 minus sin square theta equal to sin square theta. Let's go from left hand side. We have tan square theta into 1 minus sin square theta. So what is tan square theta? Tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta. Then tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta. Let's in row from quotient relation we have tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta. Then tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta. So tan square theta we got sin square theta by cos square theta into 1 minus sin square theta. What is 1 minus sin square theta? 1 minus sin square theta equals to cos square theta from Pythagorean relation. So the denominator and this numerator they get cancelled. We have sin square theta which is our right hand side. One minus cos square theta into cos square theta equals to one. So going through left hand side, we have one minus cos square theta into cos square theta. So one minus cos square theta equals to sin square theta. Cos square theta can be written as one by sin square theta. Since cos theta equals to one by sin theta from reciprocal relation. So cos square theta can be written as 1 by sin square theta. So this sin square theta in the numerator and the sin square theta in the denominator, they get cancelled. We have the remaining term 1, which is our right hand side. Cos square theta plus 1 by 1 plus cos square theta equals to 1. So left hand side cos square theta plus 1 by 1 plus cot square theta. Cos square theta as it is plus 1 by, so what is 1 plus cot square theta? Let's see, cos square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. So cos square theta equals to Minus cot square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes 1 plus cot square theta. So 1 plus cot square theta can be written as cos square theta. So 1 plus cot square theta equals to cos square theta. Cos square theta plus 1 by cos square theta. So what is 1 by cos square theta? Let's see. 
sin theta equals to 1 by cosec theta. Then sin square theta equals to 1 by cosec square theta. So 1 by cosec square theta can be written as sin square theta. So 1 by cosec square theta equals to sin square theta. Cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. So cos square theta plus sin square theta or sin square theta plus cos square theta is the same. So sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, which is our right hand side. Cos square theta by sin square theta plus 1 into tan square theta equals to 1 by cos square theta. Let's start from left hand side. We have cos square theta by sin square theta plus 1 into tan square theta. So what is cos square theta by sin square theta? As we know from quotient relation, we have cos theta equals to cos theta by sin theta. So if cot theta equals to cot theta by sin theta, then we can write cot square theta equals to cos square theta by sin square theta. So cos square theta by sin square theta can be written as cot square theta. So here cos square theta by sin square theta, it becomes cot square theta plus 1 into tan square theta. Now here we have cot square theta plus 1. As we know that, cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. So when minus cot square theta goes to right hand side, it becomes cosec square theta equals to 1 plus cot square theta. So 1 plus cot square theta can be written as cosec square theta. So cot square theta plus 1 or 1 plus cot square theta is the same thing. 1 plus cot square theta can be written as cosec square theta. So it becomes cosec square theta into we have here tan square theta cosec theta equals to 1 by sin theta from the reciprocal relation so i can write down cosec square theta equals to 1 by sin square theta into tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta let's see tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta from quotient relation then tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta so in place of tan square theta i can write down sin square theta by cos square theta here the denominator sin square theta and the numerator sin square theta they get cancelled we have 1 by cos square theta which is our right hand side is proved. Question number two, prove that. Now the questions are being a little bit advanced, but I am quite sure that you all have understood the formula, memorized the formula. Until you memorize the formula, it will be difficult for you to prove this sort of identities. So let's start from left hand side. We have sine power 4 theta plus sin square theta into cos square theta. Here we have to take the common between these terms. That is the term sin power 4 theta and the term sin square theta into cos square theta. What is the term that we can take from these both terms? Let's see. Sin power 4 theta can be written as sin square theta into sin square theta plus here we have sin square theta into cos square theta. So what common can we take? We can take the common sin square theta. From these both terms, we can take the common sin square theta. Since sin power 4 theta can be written as sin square theta into sin square theta plus sin square theta into cos square theta. So from these both terms, we have sin square theta as common. So let's write sin square theta as common. Now, 
From this term, we have the remaining sin square theta plus, and from this term, we have the remaining cos square theta. As we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. So it becomes sin square theta into 1. So sin square theta into 1 is sin square theta, which is right hand side. Proved. Sin power 4 theta plus 2 sin square theta into cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta equals to 1. Let us start from left hand side. We have sin power 4 theta plus 2 sin square theta into cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta. I can write sin power 4 theta as sin square theta whole square. Since a square whole square is equal to this power 2 and this power 2 outside they multiply it becomes a power 4. Then a power 4 can be written as a square whole square. Similarly sin power 4 theta can be written as sin square theta whole square. See this power 2 inside and the power 2 outside they multiply and it becomes sin power 4 theta. So plus 2 sin square theta into cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta can be written as cos square theta whole square. Now if we see closely we can see that it's in the form a square plus 2ab plus b square whereas sin square theta acts like a and cos square theta acts like b. So if I suppose sin square theta as a then it becomes a square plus 2 the sin square theta is a 2a cos square theta is b so it's b plus b square. So a square plus 2ab plus b square. It can be written as a plus b whole square. So what is a? a sin square theta. a which is sin square theta plus b which is cos square theta whole square. That is a plus b whole square. Sin square theta plus cos square theta can be written as 1 according to Pythagorean relation. So sin square theta plus cos square theta it becomes 1, 1 square is equal to 1 which is right hand side. Sin power 4 theta into cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta into sec square theta equals to 1. Let's start from left hand side. We have sin power 4 theta into cos square theta plus cos power 4 theta into sec square theta. Sin power 4 theta, let's write as it is. As I told you before that sin and cos are generally not changed. So sin power 4 theta as it is into cos theta equals to 1 by sin theta. So cos square theta can be written as 1 by sin square theta plus cos power 4 theta as it is sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta according to reciprocal relation. So sec square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta. Let's break sin power 4 theta. Sin power 4 theta can be broken as sin square theta into sin square theta. Since a power 4 can be written as a square into a square. So sin power 4 theta can be broken as sin square theta into sin square theta. Now we have into 1 by sin square theta plus cos power 4 theta also can be broken as cos square theta into cos square theta into we have here 1 by cos square theta we can cancel the sin square theta in the denominator and the sin square theta in the numerator. 
Similarly, we can cancel this cos square theta in the numerator and this cos square theta in the denominator. So we have the remaining terms sin square theta into 1, sin square theta plus cos square theta into 1, cos square theta. And from Pythagorean relation, we have sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, which is our right hand side. This is also similar like before, sin square into cot square plus cos square into tan square equals to 1. We have left hand side sin square a into cot square a plus cos square a into tan square a. Sin square a we shall write as it is. So what is cot square a? As we know that cot a equals to cos a by sin a from quotient relation. So, cot square a can be written as cos square a by sin square a. So, cot square a becomes cos square a by sin square a plus cos square a as it is tan square a. We know that tan a equals to sin a by cos a from quotient relation. So, tan square a can be written as sin square a by cos square a. So, this sin square a and this sin square a in the denominator and numerator, they get cancelled. Similarly, this cos square a and this cos square a in the numerator and denominator, they get cancelled. We have the remaining terms cos square a and sin square a. So, cos square a plus sin square a. We know that sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. So, cos square a plus sin square a or sin square a plus cos square a. They are same thing. Their result is 1 which is the right hand side. Let's see the next question. We have 1 plus tan a whole square plus 1 minus tan a whole square equals to 2 sec square a. So from left hand side, we have 1 plus tan a whole square plus 1 minus tan a whole square. It's in the form a plus b whole square. So let's expand this in the form a plus b whole square. So it can be expanded as a square, that is 1 square plus 2ab that is 2 into a into b so 2 into a into b which is tan a plus b whole square that is tan square a plus a minus b whole square let's expand this as a minus b whole square so a square 1 square minus 2 a b that is 2 into a into b 2 into a into b which is tan a plus b square that is tan square a 1 square 1 plus 2 into 1 2 2 into tan a 2 tan a plus tan square a plus 1 square 1 minus 2 into 1 2 tan a plus tan square a. We can cancel this plus 2 tan a and minus 2 tan a. Now let's collect the like terms. 1 plus 1 we have 2 plus tan square a plus tan square a plus to tan square a. Now we can take two common from these both terms. So two becomes common. We have in the bracket 1 plus tan square a. As we know that 1 plus tan square a equals to sec square a from Pythagorean relation. 
सो वी कैन राइट एज टू वन पर टेन स्क्वायर ए इज सेक स्क्वायर ए विच इज आवर राइट हैंड साइड Let's see this question. It's quite interesting. Root under sec square a plus cos square a equals to sec a into cos a. Let's do from left hand side. We have root under sec square a plus cos square a. Root under. Let's convert this sec square a. Into the reciprocal form. That is, let's write the reciprocal of sec square. A. As we know that sec a equal to one by cos a from the reciprocal relation. So sec square a equals to one by cos square. A. So I can write the sec square a as one by cos square a plus the reciprocal of cos a is one by sin a. So cos x square a can be written as one by sine square a. In our previous video, we had studied in the operation of trigonometric ratios that when the denominator are the different terms, then while taking the LCM, both denominators shall come in the denominator. So root under cos square a and sine square a. These both terms come in the denominator. That is, the LCM of cos square a and sine square a is cos square a into sine square a. Now, cos square a and cos square a they get cancelled since we have to divide cos square a into sine square a by cos square a. So, cos square a and cos square a they get cancelled. And the remaining term is sine square a. We shall multiply this numerator. So sine square a into one sine square a plus. Similarly, sine square a will divide cos square a into sine square a. So sine square a and sine square a they get cancelled. The remaining term is cos square a. We shall divide this numerator one. So cos square a into one cos square a. Equals to sine square a plus cos square a equals to one by Pythagorean relation. So root under this becomes one by we have cos square a into sine square a. Square root of one is one. Square root of cos square a cos a. Square root of sine square a, sine a. One by cos a is sec a from reciprocal relation. One by sine a is cos a k. We have right hand side. It's proved. Sec square a minus one by sec square a. Equal to sine square a. We can do this by two ways. Let's do by first process. We have left hand side sec square a minus one by sec square a. Let's separate these two terms sec square a and minus one. When you separate these two terms, then both terms take sec square a at their denominator. So sec square a. By sec square a minus one by again sec square a. Sec square a in the numerator and sec square a in the denominator they get cancelled. The result is one here minus one by sec square a. So what is one by sec square a? We have cos a equals to one by sec a from reciprocal relation. So cos square a equals to one by sec square. A. So one by sec square a can be written as cos square. A. So one by sec square a equals to cos square. A. One minus cos square a equals to sine square. A. According to Pythagorean relation. So we got our right hand side. 
proved. Let's do by second process. We have here LHS equals to sec square a minus 1 by sec square a. Sec square a minus 1 is equal to tan square a from Pythagorean relation. Let's in rough. Sec square a minus tan square a equals to 1. When minus tan square a goes to right hand side and 1 comes to left hand side, it becomes sec square a minus 1 equals to tan square a. So sec square a minus 1 can be written as tan square a. So sec square a minus 1 is equal to tan square a by sec square a. Tan square a can be written as sin square a by cos square a by we have here sec square a is equal to 1 by cos square a. So this cos square a in the denominator of numerator and this cos square a in the denominator of this denominator they get cancelled. We have sin square a by 1 which is equal to sin square a is our right hand side. The next question, tan square a minus sin square a equals to tan square a into sin square a. Let's start from left hand side. We have tan square a minus sin square a. Tan a equals to sin a by cos a from quotient relation. So tan square a, it becomes sin square a by cos square a minus sin square a we do not change what common can we take between these two terms we can take the common sin square a so taking common sin square a we have inside the bracket the remaining terms since sin square a is taken outside so the remaining term is 1 by cos square a and the remaining term in the second term is 1. Since whole sin square a, I have taken outside. Let's check. Sin square a into 1, sin square a by cos square a. Sin square a by cos square a. Minus sin square a into 1, sin square a. That is, we have taken the common correctly. So sin square a. So inside the bracket, 1 by cos square a equals to sec square a. Since 1 by cos a equals to sec a, so 1 by cos square a can be written sec square a minus 1. Sin square a into sec square a minus 1 is equal to tan square a from Pythagorean relation. So it is our right hand side. Cot square a minus 1 by sin square a equals to minus 1. Let's start from left hand side. We have cot square a minus 1 by sin square a. Cot square a, let's leave it as it is minus. What is 1 by sin square a? And we know that cos a k equals to 1 by sin a from reciprocal relation. So, cos x square a equal to 1 by sin square a. So, 1 by sin square a can be written cos x square a. So, 1 by sin square a equals to cos x square a. Now, what is cot square a minus cos x square a? Let's see again in raw. We have cos x square a minus cot square a equals to 1 from Pythagorean relation. But here we have cot square a minus cosec square a. Thus, it's reverse. Here we have cosec square a minus cot square a. Here we have cot square a minus cosec square a. So, what will be cot square a minus cosec square a? Let's understand by one example. If a minus b equals to 2, then b minus a would be equal to minus 2. 
if x minus y will be equal to 1, then y minus x it will be equal to minus 1. Similarly, if cos x square a minus cot square equals to 1, then it's reverse cot square a minus cos x square a will be equal to minus 1, which is our right hand side. Proved. Let's see the next question. Cos power 4a plus sin power 4a minus 2 cos square a into sin square a equals to 2 cos square a minus 1 whole square. It seems complicated but it's quite easy. Let's go through the rules and the proper formula. So left hand side we have cos power 4a plus sin power 4a minus 2 cos square a into sin square a. Cos power 4a as it is minus 2 cos square a into sin square a. Let's keep this in the middle. So minus 2 cos square a into sin square a plus sin power 4a. I can write cos power 4a as cos square a whole square. Power 2 and this power 2 they get multiplied it becomes cos power 4a minus 2 cos square a into sin square a as it is plus sin power 4a can be written as sin square a whole square. We can see that it's in the form a square minus 2 a b plus b square. So a square minus 2 a b plus b square can be written as a minus b whole square. That is cos square a which is a minus sin square a which is b. This is a, this is b. So a minus b whole square. Cos square a minus sin square a whole square. Let's see in the right hand side. Here we have 2 cos square a minus 1 whole square. That is this sin square a should be changed into 1 minus cos square a. That is I don't need the sin square a in the right hand side. I need only cos square a. So this cos square a as it is minus sin square a equals to 1 minus cos square a according to Pythagorean relation. So I shall keep a bracket since I am going to expand the sin square a then I am going to write down sin square a as 1 minus cos square a that is more than one term. So 1 minus cos square a whole square. Let's say again cos square a minus sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos square a. I have to keep it in bracket then whole square. Cos square a, let me open the bracket, minus 1 minus into minus plus cos square a, whole square. So cos square a plus cos square a, it becomes 2 cos square a. So cos square a plus cos square a, 2 cos square a minus 1 whole square which is our right hand side. So it is proved. Well today only after this much. In the next video we shall be dealing with the remaining questions. Till then have a great day. Be safe. Take care. Bye bye.